What up, MetaZooManiacs? So today is March 10th, 2024. And we're getting closer to zero. The market's going down, except at the end of this video, there's one MetaZoo product that is starting to get a lot of attention and it is going up big time. But anyways, we're gonna start with Sample Bigfoot, PSA 9. Let's take a close look, beautiful card. Someday I really want to own this. I can't even imagine owning a sample card full hollow. Never mind Bigfoot. But yeah, best offer was accepted for $530. Not bad, not bad. Next we have a Chaos Crystal full hollow sample card, PSA 9. Was up for $399 or best offer. I mean, this is crazy, man. Anyways, sample Chaos Crystal. I know, every you know, MetaZoo's dead and all that, but I mean, just seeing this just still is, just blows my mind. And the Chaos Crystal sold here, as you can see, for $3.99 PSA 9. Next, we have someone that opened up a UFO box and they got 31 full hollows, 36 packs in a box. So again, 31 full hollows is pretty normal. Uh, yeah, it sold for $3.50, so... Damn, I mean, I would just kept that's a pretty good box, man. 31 full hollows, and you got the men in black in there. Doesn't get much better than that, even neutrality, totality. I'd rather pull men in black, so $3.50. Holy moly, we're getting pretty close to zero there. Actually, best offer was accepted for $5. So I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know why you would sell those cards for $5. I mean, the box cost you probably at least 15 20 bucks. Here we have a sample dark crystal. Uh, BGS 9 for $122.50. Love this card because it's not Blood Ruby. When it was a sample card, it was called Dark Crystal. Really cool. Wouldn't mind having that in the collection someday. And here we have a Bloodlust, which is like an alternate art. I know it's a different card altogether, but like an alternate art to Chupacabra. $152.50 as a BGS 9. Very cool card. Here we have 48 Blisters of Chromis Cryptic Carnival. Uh, $102. Here we have 144 Second Edition Blister Packs. Sold for $77. I mean, whoever's picking these up, if you, like, maybe it's someone that has a card store or whatever, you could resell these for probably, like, two, three bucks each, and you're going to make, you know, not a bad little profit. Next, we have Wilderness, 144 blister packs for $92. As always, a steal of a deal. Anything with native, I mean, 144 packs for $197. Here we have 144 Seance blister packs, $162.50. 144 UFO blisters, $109.17. 144 Nightfall blister packs for $182. I'll never forget when I paid $125 for five. <laughs> Holy shit. No jokes. When it first came out, I did hit good cards. I did hit a Mothman, Injured Cold, a Grim Reaper, all full hollows. But I paid $25 a blister. So five for $125. Now you can get 144 for 182. I mean, if you were there from the beginning when Nightfall came out, this blows your mind. 144 Hero Quest 2.0 blister packs for $202. Here we have 10 MetaZoo 30th anniversary boxes for $95.99. I'd say that sold for a lot more than I would think these would sell for. Here we have first edition Kryptonation booster box. Never thought it would get this low ever, but maybe actually it's gone up a little bit. $112.50. Here we have the very first Santa Claus promo with MetaZoo, only $20.50. So here we have a big MetaZoo lot of sealed product for $2.55. Let's see if it was worth it. I mean, obviously to the person that won this auction, it was worth it, but... So some sealed blister packs. Are any of them Kickstarter, though? No. This doesn't look like it. Um, all the other blister packs, I mean... Not worth much. Wilderness UFO is worth like nothing. Um, psh, Nightfall Spellbook, that's worth nothing. Two Nightfalls, okay, booster boxes. So, okay, there's a little value there. There's a first edition Kryptonation booster box and a second edition. First edition, as we saw, is about a $100 value plus a Nightfall. Uh, what else we got in here? There's a fish, first edition Spellbook, some theme decks. So, the way market's right now, I mean, $255, I'd say, and I can't believe I'm saying this. That's a little too much, I think, for what's in that picture, but not a horrible deal. Plus, this would be a fun rip. Next, we have a sample Fountain of Youth, 
PSA 9, sold for $148.05. Oh, I know everyone's like native short printed and it's hard to find this and that, but I mean, besides the Aura cards, which have dropped substantially in value, I mean, Wendigo is one of the hardest cards to pull and one of the top BCs besides Piazza Bird, and it sold for only $16.50. Here's another steal of a deal. Wow, this is getting cheap. So when you are gonna buy the eBay Times MetaZoo um, Wilderness, those little booster boxes where you get 10 packs with a box topper, this is the best box topper you could pull. And there's 10 different ones, so 25 bucks for the stained glass token. I mean, holy crap. And it's just a beautiful card. Looks in decent condition. It is raw, but still 25 bucks. You have a one in 10 chance of pulling this when you open one of those boxes and really cool artwork. I mean, Mothman, Grim Reaper, Cumberland Dragon, and of course UFO right up here. Stained glass token, 25 bucks. Definitely a good deal. Here we have a PSA 10 Mothman from Topps Chrome, alternate art numbered out of 50, the gold refractor for $175.50. Here we have a sample of Jersey Devil PSA 10. Don't see PSA 10 sample cards too often. $401, let's take a look at it. Uh, here we have a Kickstarter booster box, $707.89. Take a look at it. This is getting pretty cheap, uh, but honestly, I wouldn't even buy it at this price. I mean, if you're gonna keep it sealed, yes. Maybe, but it's only going to dip more, I think. So to give it a good example, we had the Kickstarter box that sold for $707.89. You're not guaranteed to get a full haul of Mothman, but let's say you did, right? A full haul of Mothman sold the day before on March 8th as a PSA 10, and they don't come out of the box as a PSA 10. Sold for $470. So I mean, if you're buying a box for $707 and you're going to open it, and you pull Mothman, the full haul, I mean, by far the best card you're going to pull, even if it grades a PSA 10, you guys still pay for grading fees. Uh, it's only selling right now for less than 500 bucks. Here we have some of the most underrated cards in all of Metazoo, with these Spellbook promo cards. I mean, it comes in every Spellbook, so there's like a million of them, but the artwork on these cards is awesome. And I mean, it's a PSA 10, $7.50. Uh, why not? Hey, here's a heavy hitter. Red Ink PSA 8, $880 down from what it used to be, but hey, it's still pulling in $880. I mean, but hey, how, how often are you going to come across a Red Ink? And that just shows if it's selling for $880 as a PSA 8, how much is it still going to be selling as a PSA 9 or a PSA 10? Pretty crazy card to see. Uh, here's an auction that I don't understand how it made any money. It's just a regular red border chaos crystal i mean it's a common card chaos crystal psa 9 for seven dollars and 50 cents what <laughs> this is like what no number one why'd they even grade this card it's just a common card and it got a nine so i don't know why anyone paid seven dollars and fifty cents for that here we have a seance booster box uh twenty dollars and fifty cents Wilderness Booster Box, $21.50. Hey, it's Ben B. Serialized out of 25 from Topps Chrome, PSA 10, only 33 bucks. What the hell, man? Uh, here we just have a first edition Reverse Hollow Mothman, uh, PSA 10, for 26 bucks. I mean, that's about how much it costs to get it graded, so. Here we have uh, Mothman from Dim Mock, t-shirts, PSA 10. Crazy how much this has dropped, because there's a lot more out there than anyone thought, but $34 for a PSA 10. Hey, here's a promo that used to be worth a million bucks. And now as a PSA 10, it's only worth $131.50. Oh, the UFO uh, MetaZoo lunchbox, $5.50. Hot damn. This lunchbox is in a race to be the first product that literally sells for $0. Like, holy moly. Oh, the MetaZoo Lunchbox has got competition for getting the zero first. You're guaranteed to get a full hollow Mothman promo in here, plus another mystery card. So, and the pin, which is pretty cool, for a dollar and four cents. Damn, this is a really nice product, and it's just, I don't know, no one's ever, it's never been worth anything. Here's a surprise, I mean, the eBay neutrality totality eBay stamp 
That's what you could get this from the MetaZoo lunchbox, like that UFO lunchbox. Even as a PSA 9, I would take this, and for $8.50. Here we have a Chains of Old Scratch, first edition. $64 as a PSA 10. Definitely gone down in value a lot. This used to sell for well over $200. This is one of my favorite MetaZoo cards that most people haven't seen. I have one of these as a PSA 10, and this one sold uh, for $21.50. I mean, I just love that artwork. I don't know much about John King, but that is badass. And it's uh, LGS, uh, one of those exclusive promo cards. Here we have another um, 144 second edition blister packs that sold for only $64.69. Next we have 20 uh, Kryptonation second edition spell books for only $66. That's crazy. Here we have 12 second edition booster boxes for $140.55. Here we have 144 more native blister packs for $188.50. Er, Here we have 144 seance blister packs going for $155. Here we have 20 of the Christmas promo boxes. So you get 10 promos in each box. So you get 200 packs for $83. Here we have two more uh, sealed cases, so 48 uh, blisters of Chromie's Cryptic Carnival for $107.50. Now this is selling for more than I would have thought they would, but six Hello Kitty Karomi Crypto Carnival bo booster boxes for $2.45. That's impressive. I mean, that's a lot cheaper than when it first came out, but there's not much in there you can pull out. I mean, maybe the secret rare if you're insanely lucky, but uh, I wouldn't be paying $2.45.55 for six Karomi Crypto Carnival booster boxes. Go watch it for free on Nick Strength of Pokemon when he opens like. 50 of these boxes and pulls only one uh, Chibi Aura card. I mean, hey, all the way from Great Britain. I had to include this because there's some first edition Bow Hollow Mothman cards. They're just selling insanely cheap. $15. Well, American. $19.32. Then we have another Full Hollow Mothman that was sold in America for 33 bucks. So once again, if the booster box that we saw earlier was selling for 112 and the best card you could pull out of the box, which you might not even pull. I've opened five of those boxes, and I've never pulled a full hollow muffin. Some people pull two or three, but literally, even if you pull three of these, that's only $99, <laughs> right? And you're not going to pull a three. And here's another one that sold for $28. Full hollow muffin, first edition. Who ever thought it would be this cheap? I mean, I think second edition was selling for more at one time, <laughs> so... Here we have PSA 10 Headless Horseman from Nightfall, beautiful card, $25, why not? This is a pretty cool hat, I wouldn't mind having one of these. Only $29? Hey, here's another auction up in Canada from Jim to the Jones, very awesome seller up in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It's got two, and it's sold for $70, it's got the Wilderness one, and if you're buying poker decks, this is what you want, you want that MetaZoo wrap on it. So this one's got that special hollow foil on it. This is just one of the regular uh, decks where you're going to get a hollow card, but it's not going to be the special one. And then Cryptid Nation with that special wrap on it. People are starting to catch on to these decks, and they're starting to go up in value quite a bit. $70 for the three decks, and what, $52 American? Not bad at all. Uh, here we have another auction for 12 second edition Crypto Nation booster boxes for $161. Hey, here's one for Frankly, frankly Collecting. We got Black Mass. <laughs> That's so crazy, that artwork. Who drew this again? Sebastian Bortello. Or Botello. So as a playtester, so for 45 bucks. There you go. Here we have a playtester Sheep Squatch. Definitely different. Playtester, $50.69, not bad. Here's a card that substantially dropped. I mean, those playtesters were selling for like 50 bucks each. I'd pick this up any day for $158. Uh, yeah, New York City King, the rat. I mean, that's awesome. This card has always had such a premium on it. It's already graded as well, and that's not a bad grade. 158 bucks? I would say that was a really good deal, whoever picked that up. Even Magic Cast just... Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Sometimes you gotta look closer at the card, I see it right now. So that's the Full Hollow Moth on the best card you could pull in that set. 
nine dollars and five cents but there is a very dirty print line down here <laughs> so that definitely hurt the value because I was gonna be like how this car sell for so cheap even raw it should sell for more but yeah that's a that's one hell of a print line uh, we are here we have gassy first edition that's a Canadian Charizard three dollars and twenty five cents hey here's a 50 cent card that sold for thirty six dollars it's got a bunch of doodles on it it's got signed by Poncho it's signed by Mike Waddell's weird ass signature here I don't know why I didn't just stick with the MW or something else but here's a unique item for only 13 bucks I would say this was a cool pickup I didn't see this in auction I mean damn I almost wish I saw these it's just cool Metazoo shoes I mean, Mothman's on one of the shoes. They look brand new. Uh, for $13, I mean, I'd say that's a massive steal of a deal. That would just be cool to display. Hey, here's a cool one for $81. So we have the Caster Cup Celebration Player Stamp promo card. Graded as a 9.5. Wow, and that's the player one too. 81 bucks. Yeah, we'll zoom in a little. That is pretty cool. For only $81. These cards used to sell for a hell of a lot more. Here we have a Kickstarter Kryptonation promo card that comes in the spell book. 1,000 of them were made, which is way too many now. <laughs> only $31. Hey, we have Snipe from HeroQuest. There's been some Snipe cards selling for quite a bit lately, but um, not from HeroQuest, apparently. $5.51. Even Bigfoot. Only $13.50. Here we have a Loveland Mailman, pretty cool promo, uh, only 31 bucks. Oh, Santa Adam, that's my favorite card from all the Christmas promo cards, only $19.50. Meanwhile, Christmas Row is still the most popular card to pull, $66. So it's still, it's still pulling some money, man, it's still pulling some weight. Here's an auction that surprised me, it's just Bigfoot regular refractor, PSA 10 sold for $26. Now it's not a lot of money, but I've seen... I personally bought the Mothman Alternate Arc PSA 10 Refractor for $10 on eBay. So I'm impressed by this one. It's a cool looking card. It's pretty cool artwork. I still don't know why he's throwing punches. No one's ever explained that to me. Here we have three Valentine Day promo boxes, $13.50. Then we have two boxes of UFO Pin Club. Seeing a lot of co cool openings with Captain Asia and Epic Tube HD with this. You can pull some pretty cool stuff out of here. $44 for two cases? Why not? That'd just be a fun rip. You're going to get all those pins. You're probably going to get a couple alternate art pins and alternate art cards. Very good price. I'd say that was a really cool pickup and be a fun rip. Here's something someone in Discord pointed out to me. So there's this MetaZoo sketch card, Snipe 101 official artist, Lily Wilderness, uh, with the draft print, which is pretty cool. $481. That's pushing some weight. I mean, that's crazy money. And let's take a closer look. So there's the card, right? The 101 sketch card. And here's the draft of it. Right? I mean, talk about like sample cards. I mean, this is where it all begins, right? So, okay, so the point of this uh, video here, or part of the video is that sold on February 24th for 41. Now, I don't know if the person didn't pay or something because then it's up again with the same seller, Shiny Collectibles, for $2,000 or best offer. And remember, this auction ended in February 24th. So maybe the person didn't pay. I don't know what happened, but it sold us with a best offer accepted price on March 7th for $700. And now for the MetaZoo product that is going to the moon right now. If you can find these poker cards with that MetaZoo wrap on them, sealed, that's where you get that cool, super hard to find hollow foil on it. I don't know who bought this. I was looking at this auction. I was like, oh, maybe I can get this for cheap. So you're going to get three Nightfall decks, three Wilderness, and three Kryptonation. Sold in auction for $2.55 for nine poker decks. Now, I've opened a lot of these with that special wrap on them. I mean, only three of each. The odds of getting a card that is... I mean, every one of the cards with that special holofoil is super rare. But 255 
that's about $28 per deck. So you better hit a good beastie. But the thing is, from Wilderness, you're probably not going to hit a good beastie because there's not really much to hit in there. Uh, Nightfall, there's a little more potential. And Cryptonation, there's a ton of good cards you could hit with that special hollow foil. But I mean, you have a 1 in... They got the Jokers in there, so about a 1 in 54 chance. I guess the Jokers double up. So, 1 in 53 chance of hitting something, like, insane. I don't know, man. I think that was pretty risky. I mean, $255. And then plus another $28 shipping. I mean, you're looking near $300 for 9 poker decks. <laughs> I mean crazy anyways comment below what do you think of that to me that's the auction of the week where i'm just like whoa and so i've opened a lot of these and i pulled two black inks and i pulled one loveland frogman so hopefully whoever bought this pulls something crazy i hope they comment below if you're the person that bought this i want to know if you're going to open this or not if you do definitely let me know when you open it up on video and definitely open it up on video or if you're going to keep it sealed so anyways, uh, what do you think of these auctions? Some crazy stuff, some stuff's dipping towards zero pretty fast. Some stuff's going to the moon. And, but hey, MetaZoo sales are bananas. This was just a small sample of the amount of stuff that sold over the last few days in MetaZoo. Once again, let me know, are you buying, are you selling? Did you buy any of these? Did you sell any of this stuff? And just what do you think the future of some of this market is gonna be? And as always, comment below, and we'll see you in the next video.